installation video. I told you guys that I will come back and dip this hair in hot water and see how it takes with curling. It has been two and a half weeks since I installed this hairstyle and so far you guys I am so in love with this hair. For those of you who have not seen the installation video, this is the hair that I'm wearing for my installment. This hair is made by Supreme and it is the New York Short Braid. It is ombre, 1B and 30. This hair is made with 100% Toyoka line fibers. Now there are several reasons why I fell in love with this hair, but I must say number one is definitely the texture of it. I love that thick, full, natural feel. You know, I like silky hair too, but you know, it's just something about that realistic, natural look that I'm just drawn to. And then I'm gonna go with number two, the fact that it lasts so long and it does not tangle or shed. Now I have had a few tangles here and there, but I'm gonna admit, the only time that I really see tangling is when I neglect my hair. As far as falling asleep without a bonnet, not twisting it up or something like that. You know how most times when your hair mat up, you know, once you try to untangle it, the ends are all fried and crazy looking. But I must say that even when it's tangled, all I take is either my fingers or a wide tooth comb and I just rake right on through it and it detangles very easily. This is what the hair is looking like on the ends after two weeks. One thing that I'm noticing about my part is the older my hair is getting, the more new growth I'm getting, the more realistic it's looking. A few people asked if I knotted my hair. No, I did not. I started off not in the back, but because I didn't like the bulkiness of the way the hair was laying, I stopped knotting them and I started just pulling them and looping them through. No knotting, no nothing. And I must say, I have not had any shedding. And I know part of the reason is because of the texture. It's not very slippery or silky, so the texture of it stops it from sliding down and out. Another person said that they were using a different type of hair and it, they kept sliding out. Again, depending on the texture, and that's with any set of crochet braids that I've noticed throughout the years, is depending on the type of hair, if the hair is very soft, and silky, you're gonna either have to knot it or do the rubber band method to install because they will slide out. Another thing, I noticed someone said that they were knotting their part area. Do not knot your part area because the hair will eventually get knotted up into your hair and that's gonna be a big problem. It should be very easy to remove once you uninstall. You know, and that's why I say it is very important that when you guys do those braids around your edges or to form your part or whatever, make sure that you try to leave that hair around it as loose as you can. I'd rather have hair health than neatness any day. So keep in mind, if it's too neat to where it's gonna mess up the health, it ain't worth it. I also wanted to clarify what was going on with the shipping of this hair. I know a lot of people have mentioned how when they went to buy the hair, the hair was like $3, but when they went to purchase the hair, the shipping was like ridiculous. I decided to email the company and find out what was going on. And come to find out there was a glitch in the system. The way they ship things out is based on the weight of the item and the weight of this product was incorrect. So they were glad that I notified them because they weren't aware of what was going on. So they corrected the problem and now you guys can purchase without any dilemmas. Okay, so this process is going to be very easy. The only thing that you're going to do is take sections of your hair and begin plaiting them. While you are doing this process, prepare your hot water. I heated mine on the stove top. <laughs> Don't this remind y'all Felicia off of Friday. Knowing me, I'll rock it just like this. Bye Felicia. I usually keep my hair in the water for about 10 to 15 seconds. Once you remove your hair out of the water, have a towel ready to protect you from the hot water and also to damp dry your hair. And then the last step is to unravel your plaits. And your 
done. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click like and share this video with a friend.